What's good, Dragon Ball Super fans out there? It's your boy Rebel here back again with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about Vegeta's new technique being countered. Before, I thought it was going to be 7-3 that we was going to do it. Now, it's Moro in his new form. But before we get into it, let's talk about this. About 90% of you guys that watch my videos aren't even subscribed to my channel. And I got a goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers before the end of summer. So if you guys want to help out with that, hit that red subscribe button. Let's get into it. So, like I stated before, I actually thought that, you know, 7-3 would be to actually be the one to help out Moro in this fight and beat Goku and Vegeta by basically copying Vegeta's new technique. But now that Moro has fused with Moro, uh, now that Moro has fused with um, 7-3 and took his abilities, now the question is that Moro could be the one to actually copy Vegeta's new technique, the spirit separation, the spirit fission, whatever you guys want to call it, and use it against basically Vegeta and Goku. This basically prevents Goku and Vegeta from actually kind of, let's say, fusing, whatever it may be. And the question could also arise, can he actually use it against Majin Buu, right? Why? Because the Daishinkan is still in Majin Buu, right? I don't know how it's going to work out. He can possibly separate Majin Buu from him. And if he separates Majin Buu from the, you know, Grand Supreme Kai, the Grand Supreme Kai won't have his, you know, his abilities, his god powers, all because it's in essentially in Oob right now, right? That's the gist of things. But it also stops Goku and Vegeta from going into a fusion, which I thought we could possibly see now that we've seen fusion because it's been hinted towards us basically uh we got to see a, a three-way fusion in in the beginning of the chapter chapter and now we got to see another fusion in chapter 61 so could there be a third fusion with goku and vegeta where uh but to, before that moro had copied vegeta's abilities and once they go into that fusion can they be separated by Moro's copy by Moro copying Vegeta's new technique. And if Vegeta has a counter to that technique, because we don't know how it essentially works right now. It only works, well, we do know how it works, right? It only works for fused beings, absorbed beings, right? So that's why I said it could potentially work on Majin Buu, separating the Dai Kaio from him, and Goku and Vegeta from going into a fusion. So Vegeta having his new technique being countered or copied by Moro is a bad thing for our Z fighters because essentially we was looking at Vegeta to be the win condition. He can still possibly be the win condition at this point in time and separate Moro from, you know, 7-3. But if Moro's able to copy Vegeta, like I said, able to copy his techniques and Vegeta actually somehow has a counter to that, Moro could use that counter to Vegeta using his spirit uh, separation. And that just that just creates a problem all around, all around right now. So Vegeta's new technique being countered is a big deal. And I thought it was going to be 7-3 being able to do it. But since it's Moro that's now doing it because he's fused with 7-3, it makes it a huge problem because Moro is OP at this point in time. Between the ability to absorb techniques and to, you know, uh, copy other people's techniques that just makes them very OP so the question arises now is we have to find a new way of beating Moro and to be honest like I keep telling you guys I do think Mirus will be the one to beat Moro but we can also possibly even get Beerus but any way you put it if Vegeta gets his you know gets his uh, techniques count, uh, copied it is bad it is bad it is very bad for the whole z fighters because now moro could be the counter to vegeta the whole way and it could be bad he can absorb their energies and if they try to fuse to make something a, a stronger being he can separate that spirit and if and if it actually works on majin Buu, that's even that's even a bigger deal because i don't even know how this can work as of right now like is can he separate Majin Buu from the, the, the well, the Dai Kaio from Majin Buu? Because that would be the big question right there. Because if he separates that, there, there's no actually win, 
way for you know the Z fighters to actually win right now because Majin Buu basically essentially knows how to uh, seal away uh, Moro. But if he does that, if he does that, and now you know the Daikai will separate it, and it actually makes it actually makes uh, the Daikai useless because he doesn't have his God powers. He doesn't know what to do from here, right? So last thing to be said is just that moral has to moral has to be beaten some way somehow i don't know how but if he has copied vegeta's new technique it basically counters vegeta it it stops vegeta it stops goku and vegeta from going into a fusion and it can stop majin Buu in his tracks by separating you know the daikaio from majin Buu. but that's all i got to say for you guys vegeta's new technique can be countered and copied so let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed already yet, please do so. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to help out with that, hit that red subscribe button. And I'll check you guys later. Peace, YouTube.